Hi guys, welcome back to Debris Day. Had a week off last week, that's why you didn't see me. First week off in two years. Sometimes you need a little bit of a break. Today on Debris Day, we're looking at tvOS 13 Beta 6 and Beta 7. Let's go guys. Okay, so let's talk about Beta 6 first. Um, I did download Beta 6 and got it installed on the, the Apple TV behind me. Unfortunately, I could not find a single update on it, so there must be lots of coding stuff behind. Now, yesterday, tvOS 13 Beta 7 dropped. I haven't downloaded it yet. Do the usual, quickly get it on here. I know some of you guys don't like it when I just randomly go through and try and look for the, the updates. The problem is, and I've said this a couple of times before, is that Apple don't really give you details of what's changed. They tell you the code that's changed, but not actually functioning what's changed. So I'll get it downloaded really quickly and we'll go through it and we'll see what's on it. So BD6, virtually zero updates on it. BD7, let's have a look. Okay, current version 17J5526E, that's beta, Five. So we go software update should take us to beta 7. 17J5557A, that's the latest version, that's beta 7. Let's download and install it. Okay, and here we go, tvOS 13 beta 7. Remember we skipped beta 6. Uh, let's just double check that that's installed correctly. Let's scroll down, let's go settings, let's go system. Let's do a software update to see where we are. Uh, 17J5557A, so that's the right version. Okie dokie, let's do a couple of quick checks. I wanna check uh, the arcade. So play 100 games, let me guess, not on there, normal stuff, fine. Let's come out of here. Screen savers. Uh, oh. I haven't seen that one before. Above the Puno um, menu natural area. Okay, that's new. Um, let's have a quick look. So, is there any? Oh, that's nice as well. Looks like they are adding new screensavers, but because I'm on the latest version, I can't tell whether these screensavers are on the old version either. So, please tell me below. Um, let's have a quick look. So, nothing on there. I'm going to nip into the settings and I'm going to have a quick look in here. Now, where is it? Now, general to see the screensavers. We want those underwater screensavers, and they're still not on there. Okay, so that's a bit boring. Um, let's dive into, let's go into music apps. So we're looking here. Now, I do know that one of the updates was on the music app, if there is lyrics that you can follow, they would be included by default. And if they're not there, they're not there. Um, let's have a quick look. It's Go to browse, let's pick something something cool, something we want to party, something with a bit of a sing song. So if there's any changes on those, uh, that'll do, just pop into there. And let's go into here. So if there's any, yeah, it's still in there. Interesting, you can scroll up and down though. Come over here. You can scroll up and down now on the lyrics, which uh, I guess it makes it a little bit easier. If you like Miley Cyrus, that is. Um, come back out of there, nothing else different in there. I suspect it's going to be pretty much the same. Uh, let's have a quick look at the TV shows on iTunes, so if there's anything different in there. Uh, purchase, that looks all okay. Let's just try something in Top Gear. By the way, one of the viewers said that they had problems with Dolby Atmos. I'm gonna check that in a second, see so if Dolby Atmos is still working on Beta 7. In fact, let me just do that now. If I go up here and find a Dolby Atmos video under iTunes Movies, pop into there. We can also check Netflix, see so if Netflix has got it. Um, let's go on to purchased. Oh, and by the way, Endgame is out in three days. Remember to buy Endgame. Fantastic, fantastic film. Okay, let's go into genre. Let's go into oh, sci-fi. And I know some of my sci-fi films have got um, 4K HDR Dolby Atmos. Let's go down into here. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -dum. Let's try Captain Marvel. I'm just checking on the amp at the bottom there. Um, this is an ENHD, but it doesn't talk about the audio. Let me just pick something else, which we know has got Dolby Atmos, Ready Player One, our classic one, which we used a few few weeks ago. So Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision, let's hit play on there. 
and just keep an eye on the amp. Play on the film. Resume playing. And correct, my Dolby Atmos is not working. Um, so on beta 7 it's not working. I know somebody said on beta 6 it wasn't working. So let's dive out of here. Um, let me just check the audio setup is correct. Make sure I haven't mucked anything up with a new version. Um, so let's go audio. Uh, audio, output HDMI, audio format. Dolby Atmos is on. So there's a problem with this beta. Beta 7 does not seem to work with Dolby Atmos. I'm going to dive into Netflix and see if it's the same in there. So we log into here. Let's find something with Dolby Atmos. Uh, so if we go, what do we got? Some films. If we go, what's this one? Another Life. Uh, it's got Dolby Vision 5.1, but we want Dolby Atmos. Now I've got to find a Dolby Atmos film. These are all in 5.1. Dolby Atmos. Let's try our planet. That's really interesting. Bright we know has got Dolby Atmos. But it's still coming up with 5.1. I wonder if this is part of the problem. So I'm just gonna hit play, check the amp. By smarter or, or dumber, you know, yep, that's still not in Dolby Atmos. So it looks like it may have broken it. Let's come out of here. And let's go back uh, across to here. Let's do another quick check in here. It's definitely on HDMI, which is correct. Upstairs, which is correct. Audio format, uh, which I don't want to do. So, okay, so Dolby Atmos is broken. So thank you to the viewer that mentioned that. Sorry, I didn't quite remember your name, so I apologize, but Dolby Atmos is not working for me either. I did notice that you go on to say a few days later it was fixed. So beta 7, which I've just installed, is certainly not working. I'll keep an eye on this for a couple of days and see if it starts working again. Um, anything else of significance? Not that I can see. We've checked the movies, we checked the iTunes. Uh, let's check Infuse. Yeah, these test files are not working Dolby Atmos either. So, okay, clearly a fault. I'm not gonna linger on any single more. Um, so they've broken some things. Um, let's try a trailer. If we try any of these, it doesn't really matter. Let's try that. I don't know if trailers have got H 4K or not. I don't think so. Stop that before we get any uh, copyright infringements against us. Netflix, we've checked. We've checked the settings. We've checked the TV. Let's have one more look at the TV app. So, if there's anything else in here that takes our interest. Not much has changed, guys. Not much has changed at all. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to play Alien again. So you can double click um, the TV button and you can For activity, oh. go in and out. Yeah, so guys, um, good news and bad news. Beta 7 doesn't seem any more stable, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. Uh, Dolby Atmos is broken, which is a bit of a problem, so I'll report that into Apple. Um, no screensavers on there. Uh, overall, a very poor experience, I would say. So that's it, just a quick update. Beta 6, Beta 7. Is it worth downloading at the moment? Probably not. When B8 comes along, I'll get that updated, get it on here, and deliver the differences. If I find any more differences in the meantime, I'll let you know. That's it for this week on Dubris Day, guys. Keep watching the channel, keep subscribing. Um, we are starting our new knife build tomorrow, and there'll be Damascus knives, so follow that as well, guys. We've also got some trips and things that we're doing soon, so follow those as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for keeping on the channel. Look forward to seeing you next week on Dubris Day. Cheers, guys. Bye for now.